Hi there. I just thought I'd do a quick update on my ownership of the Christopher Ward the 12. I bought this a week ago or so and I've had it on my wrist pretty much exclusively for that time. Um, I did an unboxing video that I'll link to but I thought I'd just give you guys an update on where I am with it and my thoughts on it. Um, it's great. It wears really really well. It's a perfect kind of go everywhere, do everything type watch, 100 meter water resistance. Um, you could probably swim with it. It's stretchy enough to go under a cuff um, but it's sort of comfortable enough to wear um, casually as well. I love the bracelet. I know it's not for everyone um, although that does surprise me to be honest but I, I absolutely love it. That's the appeal of these integrated bracelet watches. You can get this on the rubber strap. I don't know why you would. It's a bit cheaper um, but anyway yeah really really happy with the watch. Accuracy wise I'm not an accuracy nut but I measured it after a week and it was plus 10 seconds which is way within spec. The spec's pretty bad. It's about 20 seconds per day so it's not a high accurate watch at all. Um, the titanium model that comes with the SW300 movement is more accurate if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this has been perfectly acceptable for my needs. 10 seconds in a week is, is absolutely fine. So really, really happy with the watch. Uh, I liked it when I unboxed it and I like it just as much today. So that's kind of the update. I wanted to address a couple of questions I'd received on um, forums and on, on here on YouTube. Um, the first is, is it just an expensive TCPRX? Yeah, I guess so, in the same way that the IWC is just an expensive Crystal Ward 12, um, the IWC engineer that is, that retails about 10,000, and the Vacheron Constantin overseas is just an expensive IWC, which retails at twice that. I mean, this is an integrated sports design watch. It's relatively new, this style. It's only been around for a few years. It's very trendy at the moment. I guess we're just not used to it yet, so we think that anything that resembles another model or an older model is is an homage or a rip-off or something. It's 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 not. Um, although speaking of that, a lot of people have said this looks very much like the Chapek Antarctic, and it does very, very much so. But that's because it's the same designer, actually. Um, the guy that used to work at Chapek is now the head of design, Adrian Bookman, head of design for uh, Christopher Ward. So it's his design. So is it a rip-off? <laughs> kind of, I guess, but it is his design. So he's entitled to do with it what he chooses. Um, so that was another comment that was made. Yeah, I guess it is. This is you know, about a thousand pounds, whereas the Chapak is 20 times that. So orders of magnitude in difference. Um, somebody said, why is there no micro adjust on the bracelet? Well, that's because it's integrated. There's nowhere to hide it behind a clasp. Um, maybe it's possible somewhere, but not with this design. So also I didn't design the watch, but that's my answer to that. Um, how does it compare to the PRX was another question. I mean, it's a much better watch. Well, the bracelet's much better. The case is more intricately designed. Um, the dial's more interesting, although it's not to everyone's taste. This you really do have to see in person. I had a PRX. Uh, I liked it. I, I gave it away, um, not because I disliked it, but as a gift. Um, the dial's great on that, but what you see in pictures is exactly how it is in person. This is different in pictures. This often looks very um, kind of overbearing, but it's it really legible. Um, so yeah, I, I, it looks really, really good in person. You've got to try these on, which is difficult because Crystal Ward doesn't have many retail shops um, that you can do so. But you can buy it and you can return it if you don't like it. They've got a 60-day money-back guarantee. So um, how does it compare to the PRX? Yeah, the PRX is a great watch. Look, if you've got... 600 pounds to spend on a PRX or to spend on a watch then get the PRX honestly if you want to spend a bit more get this if you want to spend more still get the Chapek get the IWC um, get the Vasher on you know they're just different um, you do get more as you move up the chain in, in price wise but obviously there's a rate of diminishing returns if you have a PRX you don't need to upgrade to this um, but the bracelet on this is much much better I didn't like the bracelet on the PRX it was built to a price it was a bit tinny um, so yeah I think that's pretty much it um, from the question front, um, yeah, like I say, really, really happy with this watch. Highly recommended. £1,050 in steel. This is the Nordic Blue. Um, the titanium model is a bit more, £1,500, I think. And that's available for pre-order on the Christopher Ward website. That comes out in November with different dial types, the kind of Fumé dials um, that they have in different colours, purple, etc. But I'm really, really happy with this purchase. Um it's really comfortable on the wrist. It's lighter than, say, my Tudor Black Bay 58. Um, it's got a thinner case, so you don't really notice it as much. Um, but it's not so light like the titanium. I don't really like titanium myself, which is why I went for this model. I would have rather had the higher accurate movement um, and the better finishing. The finishing on this movement is a bit basic. Um, but I like the steel. I like the heft of steel. So, yeah, really, really pleased with this watch. Any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, 
Thanks for watching.